day 20, day 20 of Joey's Scarf Vlogmas. My name is Linda and you can find me all over as Linda Grace. That's Linda with a Y. Today I'm having plain old decaf tatley in my, if I'm sitting, I'm knitting mug. It's very cold out today. I think this is the first day of this winter that it's been this cold. I think it was 20 some degrees this morning. No uh, wildlife, no birds this morning. I didn't hear any, but I did see a couple of people walking uh, and a dog barking. So today I waited too long to do my um, shopping online, my, my food shopping. I could not find a spot. You know, you have to reserve a spot if you're going to let them do the shopping and then you pick it up and you have to reserve a slot and all the days were taken. So I'm going to have to go actually into the food store today. If I'm going to make Christmas Eve lunch and I need some stuff, I just dread it, but if I could get Ross up early and get us out early, it might not be too bad. He's snug as a bug in a rug right now, so I don't think he's going to be moving too quick too soon. So anyway, um, yeah, that's what I'll be doing today. I hope to get it done and over with. The only thing about this mug is you, I cannot wrap my hands around it because it's, it's the ceramic is thin and it's too hot for me to handle that way. So I've been talking about this, my latest cast on, and it's not, it's not a big deal. It's just that this is what I have on the needles. And it's a hat. And the yarn is, um, what is it? Shelter by Brooklyn Tweed, I think. And I think it's going to be too big. But we will see. I don't know, once you bunch it up, maybe it won't be too big, but I don't like the way this is coming out. The length is going to be good, but I think, okay, so I cast on 80 stitches for this, and this is worsted weight yarn, and if I have to redo this, it's going to be 72 stitches, and right now I'm already on the decrease, so, um, yeah. So it shouldn't take me long to finish the hat and see if it's going to be too big. But you know, like they say with hats, it'll fit somebody. <laughs> and it will be very warm because it's 100% wool, not super wash. So I'm anxious to to get this done and I don't know it, it's very woolly hopefully um, I hope it won't be too scratchy on the head and I guess if you're wearing I mean if you have hair long hair it won't matter like if I wore it I probably wouldn't feel the scratchy so, that's that. All right, so I'm gonna go see if I can get Ross up, maybe finish this, have my tea, and uh, I'll catch you later.
end of day 20. And uh, we did go food shopping today. It wasn't crowded, but we had to get a lot of stuff. So there was a lot of walking up and down each aisle. And our cart was full um, in preparation for the holiday. I bought stuff to bake cookies. I haven't baked in a long time. Who knows if I'll get to them. We'll see. Um, somebody, or I heard, kept hearing that there was a shortage of, of cream cheese. But in my supermarket, it seemed to have plenty of everything. So I didn't have a problem. So I finished my little hat. It's still a little damp. Oh. And it fits like a beanie. And I think whoever gets this, it'll fit them good. Hair on me. So I am, all of the things I've been making, um, well, it's good to have some knitted stuff around for the holidays, you know, in case you need a gift or whatever. And I don't know, I might have a grab bag of my knitted items this year, who knows. But I'm, I like the way this came out. It really, the difference between before it's blocked and afterwards, I thought, oh, this is going to be too scratchy to wear, but it softened right up. And this is, uh, this is shelter. It, um, of course, this is a different color. This is um, American Targi Columbia wool. Of course, it's 100% wool. And this is blanket fort. This is the purple color, but so I had a little surprise when I was doing this. I was decreasing and got up to the last decrease. So I was going to be knitting two together for the last round. So um, there were eight stitches, I guess. So knit two together, knit two together, knit two together. And I, it, I was using a size six needle and the stitches were really tight on the needle. And I was pulling the stitch and that happened. It breaks so easily. I was like in a panic. Um, I, I managed to save it. You know, I, I quickly uh, threaded the, the yarn back in and really made it, made sure that it was secure. But I, I was very <laughs> surprised at how easily this, this breaks apart. Um, I think it'll be, you know, once it's knit, I guess it's okay, and it 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 came out okay. I mean, I, I really secured it pretty well, but I was I was surprised. I didn't, I guess all of the yarn that I most of the yarn that I work with merino, and it it's got some nylon in it, so I never I can't break it if I pull it like this. I can't. I was just surprised at how easily this this broke apart. And then I started another hat, um, just with some leftover stuff. I don't know, I'm on a gray kick, I guess. But I'm holding these two together. This is alpaca, and this is, I don't know what, some kind of merino, I'm, I imagine. Those are the colors. And I'm holding them together. And it's making that. So I'm going to keep knitting right up until Friday and see what I can get done. The hats, I like the hats because they go quickly and everybody could use a hat, right? So that's my new cast on.
Okay, day 20, Katrinkles. Katrinkles Advent. Tomorrow I'm getting my hair cut. <clears throat> Me and Ross are going. And I just want them to trim it. It needs it, but we'll see. Speaking of hats, I'm assuming that that's what that is, an acrylic hat. Yeah. Looks like this one. Yeah. Acrylic ones, I have a little difficulty <laughs> figuring out what they are. But once I look at it again, I could tell tell it was a hat. Oh, this is day 10, or this is the 10th of the 12 days of Christmas. And okay, this is a boarding pass, admit one. And it says, Advent 2021, Doc K, Gate 4. Hmm. For December 25th at 4 o'clock. Uh-oh. I think it's a cruise. I don't know. But anyway, this is a needle gauge, a needle sizer thing. Or, that's very cute. A boarding pass. <laughs> that's, that's cute. You can always use a, one of these. Very, very nice. So, that's it for today. And, um, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. It's getting close. And closer and closer. So I was going to, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to have for, to serve for lunch on Christmas Eve day. And I know what everyone wants. And I think I'm going to have to make the lasagna. Some of the kids don't eat it and don't like it. There's two, two, one kid that doesn't like it. I'm going to have to do something else for him. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, I was just going to say that if you ever decide to do a Vlogmas, I want you to know a couple of things. I'll speak personally for myself. So... One of the reasons, I, I might have mentioned this in the beginning of my Vlogmas day one, is that it helps me get into the spirit of the holidays. If I, weren't, if I, if I wasn't doing this, I don't know how much decorating I would do or how... It just gives me a little bit of Christmas cheer to share these things with others. So that's the benefit for me because it's, it's um, and I'm sure there's a lot of people, I know people who watch this who are gonna have a difficult time, Christmas day, Christmas Eve, or whatever you celebrate, that day that you're used to celebrating with a loved one who might not be here this year or hasn't been here for the years, um, it, it's tough. So doing Vlogmas helps me with that. Keeps me busy. Um, so that's the advantage of doing it. It requires a lot of, of, of time. So I'm, I'm, what it involves is me with the camera, um, you know, thinking of things to include 
and uh, and then the editing is sometimes can be frustrating depending on your connection your internet connection and downloading and uploading and, and all of that but for me it's worth it and if you have thought about doing it or even doing a podcast it's it's a great way to connect to others and I was just thinking today's day 20 and there's there's four more days and I'm gonna miss you guys I'm gonna miss <laughs> talking to everybody and, com and and interacting with the comments and knowing that you're out there it's really it, it's kind of kind of poignant really just to know that after the 24th I'm not it's not going to be you know every day checking in with you guys so it, it, it's an experience that's all I have to say a good experience okay so I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye now. Mm -hmm.